This is this is Star this is Starless. And this is Lego. Are they your dogs? Yep. What's your name? My name is Pippa. So not only hairdressers have been out of cutting hair, but also quarantine has caused groomers to be unable to groom people's dogs right now. So since my dogs can't go to my favorite groomer, Sarah, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I have learned over the past five years of being Dallas's dog mom and Waco's recent dog mom of ways that I can groom them at home. There's a couple tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So we're gonna show you guys those today. Normally, this takes me like five hours and we have a baby right now. So you're gonna see me in probably multiple different changes of clothes and this is going to be over the course of a couple days um, because I'm not able to do this all in one fell swoop right now. Oh, I can't. You can't? But it's sharp. It, is it sharp? Is it scratchy? Yes, yeah, scratchy. Oh, okay. So my first tip is actually a, hello. Um, this brush was actually recommended to me by my groomer. She says this is one she uses and it's best with getting doodle hair um, nice and detangled. We brush Dallas with this probably once every other week or so to try to keep him from getting too tangled. His fur is completely different than Waco's fur. This is a Chris Christensen brush. Um, I will link it below. I just got it on Amazon. It is pricey. Um, but it does work wonders with detangling their hair. So what you want to make sure is that when you brush their fur, that you hold this a little bit away and then you're able to get all the way down to their skin to get through and get all the tangles out. And you want to get all the tangles out as much as possible before bathing. So with most doodles, but especially mine, you want to make sure that you get um, under the ears here. It gets very matted very easily. Waco is very, very needy for attention because I'm talking and touching Dallas at the same time. Behind the ears, right here. And then under the armpits and right on the backs of their little like bums, their uh, thighs, like I call it their chicken leg, but the back of their chicken leg right here are all susceptible to matting. So you wanna make sure that you brush those as often as possible. So Dallas is all fluffed up now. He's got probably 99% of the tangles combed out of his fur. And now, what? He does. Oh no. So another tip that I've learned from my groomer is that it's a lot easier to get the clippers through their fur when it's clean. Right now he has, I don't think hypoallergenic dogs have dander. I could be wrong. Um, but there's kind of like a buildup of like, uh, you can feel it on your fingers, but it's almost like a chalky consistency in their fur. So you want to make sure you wash all of that out and then let them dry or blow dry them before you start clipping. Okay, so after I bathe Dallas, I let him air dry, usually outside if it's warm enough. Um, and then I go through and I brush him again, get all the tangles out. It doesn't take nearly as much time um, because most of the tangles are already out. Um, and then I just take a three quarter clipper guard all over. And as you can see, it makes it significantly shorter than it was before, but not so short that he looks scalped. <laughs> Stay back here, buddy. Another thing that I've learned with having dogs is I hate the sharpness of their nails after they get their nails trimmed. So I bought a Dremel, Waco, Waco. Bought a Dremel, this was $22 on Amazon. 
it has like a little safety guard and everything so you don't excuse me thank you <laughs> and it's rechargeable um, so you just plug it into the wall when it gets low and you can dremel the dog's nails this allows you to get down to the quick um, a lot easier than using the clippers and potentially nipping the quick i hope those tips are helpful for you guys as far as grooming your dogs at home hopefully soon we'll be able to pay our groomers again